Right everyone, welcome to Lecture here. Right, today's project will be turning this seven pound axe, hatchet, whatever you want to call it, into a quite a nice um, axe basically. I don't know how to describe it. I was going to turn it into a throwing axe, which I still might do, but what I might do is turn this one into a nice working sort of bushcraft um, axe that could be thrown and then buy another one and make that into a dedicated thrower so the first thing I think I'll do is take the handle off see what we've got to work with there see what we've got under here shall we Right, so you can see the handle's not in there as far as it should be, really. Um, you know, as I said, this is a seven quid axe, so what do you expect? But you would expect it to be in more than that, wouldn't you? It's only just over half, really. So this handle will be taken out and put in properly. So there's the handle, we can now reshape this, fit it in properly, cut the little slit for the um, things. So yeah, that's not too bad, that was slightly harder than I was expecting. So I'll clean that out. What I'll probably do first, I'll get this ready. So what I need to do, clean this out, clean the inside out, and I need to take this paint off. And to do that, I'm just going to soak it for a couple of hours in nail polish remover, nail varnish remover. If you've ever needed to get any paint off of work tools that's been baked on, nail varnish remover, nail polish remover works really well. So pretty much just put it on it and let it sit in it for a bit. But while that's soaking, we'll work on the handle. So, let's get this bit of shit off here. So, I think what I'll do, take this finish off, and then, I've noticed this is a bit square here, I'd rather this be a bit more rounder, I think. When I hold this bit, and hold it here, I think this squarish bit here would be better off rounded similar to that and then we'll drill a lanyard hole so first things first I suppose we sand it right as I said this isn't a bad bit of wood for the handle uh, it does seem like a decent bit of hardwood so I'm going to shape this bit round now because it's a bit square on the back I think so I'm just going to use a rasp file and then a smoother file and a bit of sandpaper hopefully this shouldn't tear this out too much <laughs> how well you can see that but it's much nicely rounded now not a lot really needs to do to that handle so I'll do the lanyard hole now and then we'll see how the nail varnish is getting on with the head right for no other reason but I'm being lazy and can't be bothered to get the drill out I'm going to drill the hole with a hand drill hand crank drill so let's see how we get on with this I 
Look at that. It's a nice little hole actually. That's drilled that quite well. So I'll probably, if I can find my little tapering bit, now I'll do the, right, round that over, see if I can find one in here. Right, so the handle's pretty much done. I'm now going to cut the slit, probably down to about an inch, I think. I'm not actually 100% sure how long these are supposed to be. But uh, I'll probably do it about an inch, the slit for the wedge. So that should do, that should be enough of a slit for the wedge, so I make one. The handle's pretty much ready to go back onto the head, and then finish the handle. So we can set the handle aside now, I think, and now start seeing if we can get the paint off of the head. So the head's been soaking in the nail polish remover for about half an hour I think yep it's coming off all right you'll be surprised how hard some of this paint can be to get off sometimes um, this nail polish remover makes a hell of a difference getting it off Right, so I've took most of the paint off, getting a better finish on it. What I'm going to do now is keep going over it, and I may put a bit of an edge on it while I'm here, while the grind is up. Right, so I'm going to attempt to do the file work on these edges now, so it'll be this edge, this edge, and a couple of other places. I've drawn a couple of designs, so I'll probably do, if you can see this, you might not be able to see it. I'm going to attempt this one, here and here. Um, yeah, and we'll see how we go. I should really mark this on, but I'm just going to freehand it, I think. Um, so I can't even find a pencil at the minute. <laughs> I don't know how well you'd be able to see that. But, uh, that's the fire work I've done there. There was more fire work I was going to do. I may just now do. I don't know. Cause it's a lot more work than it looks. Actually, I'll probably leave it at that. So what I'll do now is try and finish up this edge, you know, this face, as good as I can, and then I'll start mounting the handle back on, and then finishing off the edge so i've got the head about as good as i can do with the stuff i've got i would like to get rid of this scratch here and this one here and here but i i just can't they're a bit too deep um that was my fault but um but overall that is good enough because it's going to be a usable axe anyway so i think what i'll do now is fit the handle put the wedge in Maybe make a little metal wedge to go in the other way and start sharpening it. All 
Right, I've got the handle on. I can't quite get it right up to the end, but it's a lot more in than it was. I've hit this with a club hammer, and I can't get it to go on anymore. So it's probably about its limit. So what I could do is probably just put the wedge in, cut a piece of wood to this shape, put it over just to make it look like it comes up to the top. It won't really matter anyway. You know, what is that, like five mil? Um, you know, considering it was only up to here before. But as I said, I hit that with a club hammer. And that will not go on anymore. So it's got to be on solidly. So yeah, I'll do that now and then I can start to finish it. Hopefully this doesn't split it too much, but I've made a little metal wedge with a nut. Uh, this is to put in the other way. The idea of it is to split it, but not too much. And I've decided by looking at this, I may just leave this top. I don't think it really matters. It's under slightly. That should be the handle on. I'm pretty confident that will stay on. So we've got a wedge splitting it that way. We've got the other wedge splitting it that way. Not quite up to the top, but again, like I said, I don't think that would matter with this. It, it will, even when it was up to about there, that was still solidly on. This definitely, you know, I was hitting this with a club hammer. So, so we'll start finishing it now. So. Just give it a general tidy and then start putting this edge on and then just finish off the handle. Right, so there it is then. So I think that looks a lot better than it did. You know, it's a seven pound axe anyway, so whatever you do to it, I'll probably make it look better. Yeah, I do much prefer this darker handle with it shaped like that, it's a lot, a lot more comfortable. The, the actual axe head looks nicer without that crappy old paint on it. And it should be even sturdier than before because the handle is a lot more in to the uh, head now. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, I, I won't be able to test this one out for this video. <clears throat> but I might do it for a later video. Uh, but I will show you some close up pictures. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you got some tips from it of um, how to do this yourself or other things you know other other parts of um axes still needs a bit of a sharpen i've got a nice bevel on it now but uh yeah needs more sharpening don't forget to view the uh pictures next right see you later
before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.